If you're like me and you have a ton of reptiles, you probably have seen these, might have some of your own. Um, what they do is, there's two different kinds. You can monitor the temperature or the humidity with these kind of gauges. Um, I just want to go through the ones that I do have. I have ZooMed, I have this AccuRite one. I have one that I really don't know where this is from. Uh, there's no brand on it or anything, so it's just kind of a random one. I have a Petco humidity and a Petco thermometer. I have a mercury thermometer, so this is a little bit old fashioned. I like it. It's a frog, it's very cute. Reptiles are ectotherms, so they need to be kept warm and they need to have the proper humidity. Otherwise, if anything's off, these guys can get little respiratory infections or not do well at all and we really don't want that monitoring your temperature and humidity is an absolute must but these things are inaccurate so let's take a look at the petco humidity so right now it says maybe 22 and i go to this accurate one and it says 40 percent indoor humidity so which one is right i would probably go with this one because it's a little bit more expensive i figure it has you know, a little bit more technology in here because there's a battery rather than just this thing that you stick on a wall somewhere. And this Petco temperature says it's 80 degrees right now. Zoomed also says it's 80 degrees. Unbranded one also says it's 80 degrees. They all match up perfectly. This one says it's 72. Low of 63, high of 72. So I would probably go with this again just because I'm not exactly sure you know these things they don't seem very capable of measuring accurate temperature also when you look at the mercury thermometer it says about 73 so i feel like this one and the 72 are a little bit closer to the actual temperature than 80 degrees on all of these but the real reason why you're here is to see the Govee Smart Air Quality Monitor. So this should be very accurate because, I mean, you're going to pay $60 for this thing as opposed to, what, $5 for this little thing. This is also a little bit fancy because it also gives you alert notifications when something is out of sorts. It has the PM 2.5 monitoring, go into that a little bit later. It has a backlight, wireless control from your phone, and a high accuracy sensor. Now, since I don't have a table in front of me, I'm going to go sit myself in front of it so I can open up this little box and show you what's inside and see if you guys are going to like it. I think you're a good uh, candidate to do this review. Look at that judgmental face. He's ready to judge the product, whether it's accurate or not. I'm going to open this little sticker. The sticker says Govi. That is like a lot of attention to detail. That's very nice. So open this up. Laser. Laser one? What does that mean? A cable. Oh, so this plugs into the wall. Okay, cool. So it's not an actual, you know, battery powered thing. Comes with a little user manual. And you could join Gobi Home with that little QR code. Your journey begins now. Let's connect, inspire, and be inspired. I'm gonna open the plastic. Not sure why it says laser one. What does that mean? Is it gonna just blow up as soon as I open it? The front of it has a very sleek looking design. Very nice. Ignore all the cuts on my hand. Those are from iguanas that I didn't think would scratch me, but Guess what? They scratched me. Uh, I think this is the sensor right here. This might be the power on button. Um, has the uh, information about it right here. And yeah, it looks very nice. User manual, do we need to read this? That's a lot of stuff. Who is pushing me? What are you doing? He's like actually pushing me out of the chair. Let's go ahead and plug this in. I'm not gonna use a wall outlet just because it's 
all the way over there and I have to get an extension cord for that and that's a bit much. You know what, this might, be... no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna plug it into this little Mac over here. I'm assuming this goes here. Oops, I pressed the button accidentally. It's on. So right now it's reading the PM2.5 on the top, the temperature on the bottom and the humidity on the very right. You can hear it running. It's like a little, a little tiny motor going around and around in there. That's pretty cool. Let's see what it says compared to the other thermostats and whatnot. So Accurite says it is 66 degrees. This says it's 67.6. The humidity is 32. This says it's 46. And humidity on my little gauge is where? 15, not even 15%, like 13%. This one looks like it's the outlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume these two humidities are more accurate. This has about 66. That was the Petco temperature. This Mercury one says 63. Zoom Med, 68. And this unbranded one is like 62. So I think this is very inaccurate too because that seems to be the most random out of the whole bunch. So yeah, there it is. I think it's pretty accurate based on what I just compared it to. The humidity seems a little... Oh, it's maybe I should leave it alone for a bit. But let me set it down here and I'll read the, temp the humidity. Right now it's at 41. It was at like 46 when it was in my hand. Now it's at 40. Okay, I think it's just because it's starting up, it has to, you know, go through its whatever processing to give you the accurate numbers here. What else do we have in the manual? Place the product on a flat and stable surface. Well, obviously, it was not on a stable surface. Now it seems to be reading more accurately or closer to this one. It's like a 39 humidity. This is a 32, 66.9 Fahrenheit. This is 66. Oh wow, this is like almost the same. But this one has a, a decimal, so it's better. It's all about the significant figures. They really matter, at least according to my chemistry professor. So now you can go and pair it to the app, which I will do in a little bit. I'm going to screen record that part because I don't think any of my cameras want to focus up close. So I will see you there. So right here I'm in the app, um, going to pair it, so I just search for the air monitor, let it do its little thing. I have to complete the pairing by clicking buttons, whatnot. Select the name for it and then connect it to my personal Wi-Fi. After that's done, now I can see everything. So right there is a PM 2.5 temperature. It's just loading in because I just started it up, so it's taking a little bit. And it also doesn't show much information because it was just running like a few minutes. Uh, the humidity, the dew point, VPD. I'm just going slowly so you can see the different ones here. You could also export the data in case you want to, you know, keep records for yourself. And you could change it to if you want to see, like, for the day or week or month or so. You could change it to little chart types to see it in a different layout. Now we go to the settings and you can see the name and smart air quality push. So if you want to keep an eye on that air quality, that would be perfect for you. And then there's all these different alert 
notification systems for the PM2.5, temperature, humidity. Uh, if you use it for reptiles, it'd be really nice to know if the temperature or humidity is not in the range that you want. So you can, you know, fix disasters before they happen and harm your reptiles because, you know, got to keep those temperatures in check. And over here, you could change the display. So you could change it to time or PM 2.5. You could change the brightness and whether that's daytime or nighttime. See, it gets slightly brighter and then it goes all the way down to dark. I do like that. It's very nice. You could change the display off. Don't know if you want to do that unless it's annoying you at night, maybe. So, yeah, that's the app. Really cool. And you have all your Gobi uh, devices here lined up and named for you. After looking at this air quality monitor, it seems very accurate. It's just, it has so much in this little object. That's why it's 60 bucks. But even the PM 2.5, like before I got this product, I didn't know what that was. I didn't pay attention to it. I didn't really care what it was, but I researched a little bit and it's actually, it has to do with the pollutants in the air, um, you know, when you inhale and exhale, you're breathing in whatever's in the air. There could be part, there are particles that you don't see. And they can be harmful to your health. So if you're in a place with very high levels, I would try to do something about that. If it's in your house, you can get an air purifier. Um, if it's outside, well, don't go outside. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you there. Right now it's at zero, so that's good. That means I'm safe for now. But yeah, I really love this. It's so tiny, compact. It looks so modern, sleek, as I said. Uh, it just, the sensor comes out and it, like, it's not centered, so my OCD doesn't really like it. But you know what? It looks amazing, so. This is gonna make a huge difference in my reptile room because I can just, you know, go and look at this. I don't have to worry about this thing not lighting up, I have to shine my light on this to see because I don't want to disturb my reptiles. I like to leave the lights off. So now I could just see a little tiny digital display and be perfectly fine without having to turn on the giant light and say, hey, good morning guys, when it's 1 a.m. or something. I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check this out on the official Gobi webpage. And um, just want to thank Gobi so much for giving me this. This is not a paid advertisement. I, uh, unfortunately I'm not paying for this, but you know what, I got this, so it's cool enough to just have this in my possession. I will definitely use it, and feel free to comment whether you think it would be a worthwhile purchase. If not, tell me why. I want to know. That's it for this video. Hershey and I will see you next time. Bye.